Hey, it's Jill with Mountain Made Creations. How is everyone doing today? Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are staying cool, staying in, or even in the pool, whatever to keep cool. It is so hot outside. Oh my goodness. All right, so today we're gonna be making a brooch. Actually, I'm gonna make a couple. But um, if you saw the post about this one, this is what it looks like, and this is what we're gonna make. So this, and it has all these cute little tails at the bottom. Um, it's just a fun and cute little brooch to wear with your denim jacket or um, wherever you wanna wear it. You can also use these um, as garnishment or embellishments on picture frames or whatever. If you just leave the tails off, you can use it for so many different things. But you guys, it is so easy to make. So let me go over what you're gonna need to begin with. And then, um, We'll get started so let me know if you're watching this live comment below let me know you're here so i can see you guys if you're catching this on the replay comment let me know what you thought all that fun stuff so first of all you're gonna need a pair of old blue jeans some fabric um i have some duck canvas here that i'm gonna be using for the back of it and then i have some other fabric like this um it's just this is actually old fabric that I found that I had. So um, I also have some other fabric that I'm gonna be using on another sort of brooch-like pin. Oh, and these are, is, this is just like denim fabric. I have this pattern fabric. I have some blue. And um, we're gonna be using that on the second one. On the first one, I think I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use some of the drop cloth. This is just regular drop cloth that I got from Lowe's and it is the drop cloth that does not have a backing to it. You don't want a backing on this stuff. You just want the regular drop cloth. Once you get it, um, wash it two times with hot water and then dry it and then it's ready to go. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be using on this first one. And um, then we can use different fabrics as the tails. I also have some of this floral lace ribbon that I got from Walmart. I guess it would help if I held it up where you could see it. Sorry, that's my dog Lucy trying to get my attention. Um, this is some other lace that came from Dollar Tree and then this is really cute it has like the daisies on it super super cute this came from Dollar Tree as well um, I think these are like $2.99 and you get um, it doesn't really say nine feet that's not bad for nine feet of ribbon and then um, yeah I have three spools of the same thing as this so let's get started. Oh, also you're gonna need some bar pins. These are just the pins that you put um, that where you can make it um, pin on your, on your um, jacket or whatever you wanna put it on. So you'll need that. So let's get started, you guys. First of all, you wanna make a base to glue your um, jeans or your denim and your, um, drop cloth on. So what I'm gonna do is cut out a circle of the duck canvas. And the reason I'm using the duck canvas for that is because it's a little bit thicker and sturdier. So I'm just gonna cut a circle out of this to start gluing on the fabric. And I did not make that big enough. Let me put you guys down so you can see what's going on over here. Whoa. There we go. What is everybody up to today? It is so hot. I went to Walmart after church and um, bought some things and had to get some school supplies for my niece, Nevaeh. She starts school on August 11th, I think. Just crazy. Can y'all believe that school's almost back? It's crazy, where did the summer go? But I am so ready for fall. 
I can't even believe I'm saying that because I'm not really a fall fan or not really a winter fan, but it's just been so hot. I'm ready for it. Now that this part doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to trim it down once we just need something to start it on. So that's not even a perfect circle, but it doesn't matter. It's perfectly fine. And I always keep these little scraps um, in a box because you never know what you might need them for. You're also going to need a glue gun and some hot glue. I use Gorilla Glue glue sticks. Okay, so we have the drop cloth. And then I'm going to cut some of this. These are just old jeans that I've already started cutting up. So I'm going to cut another strip of these. And you know you can start... Um, You can um, rip this and it'll rip straight most of the time, but sometimes it don't. I'm just cutting off the side part because I don't need that. These scissors are just not cutting it. And I'm going to save that because I may be able to use that for something else a little bit later. So I'm going to cut off the bottom, like the the bottom part of the jeans that's we don't want that so but I am going to save it because you never know we may need it and I'm just going to cut like a little strip it's probably like an inch let me measure it for you guys I don't really measure this when I'm doing it I just wing it but this is about almost an inch and a half and then so I just cut a little strip and then I'm just going to pull it And I want to get it the same length as this drop cloth. So, and of course, it did not rip it straight. I think because that's where I had it cut funny. All right. So now I'm just going to take this it across and then I'm gonna even it up so I don't need these anymore I'm gonna put these to the side also um, you'll need some like embellishments if you want to use like on the one I did earlier I used um, I just got these little like pearls from I actually think these came from the Dollar Tree I'm not the Dollar Tree from Michaels I think Either Michaels or Hobby Lobby. And I just glued them around and it worked out really good. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna rip this down, see if I can. All right. Now it's gonna be fraying and all that, which is good. That's what we really want. I want it frayed because I just like that look. So this is what we have. I think that that is actually a little bit too wide. So I'm gonna cut it and rip it again. And hopefully it'll rip straight. Sometimes on the old blue jeans, it does funny stuff. All right. And so I'll use this as tails in a little bit when we get back to that. You're gonna have strings everywhere which is perfectly fine. <coughs> okay. And y'all, this is so easy. All right, so here's what we have. We have the denim and we have the drop cloth and then we're gonna do it like we do the rolled rosettes. If you have been on here and seen me do those before, and actually this is a little bit too wide, so I'm gonna rip this. I'm gonna cut this in the center. And then I'm just going to rip it. And we can use that as the tails also in a little while. Now the, the drop cloth does fray a lot and that's perfectly okay. All right, so this is what we have. And so I'm just going to put these together like this. All right, and I'm going to put a little dot of glue right in the center of that. And then I'm going to glue these down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try something. 
is I'm gonna put these together like this and glue it down just to get a start. So I'm gonna put a little dab of glue right in the center. And I'm gonna push this down just like this. And then we're just gonna start rolling around and twisting because I want it to get the blue denim and the drop cloth color showing, so that's why I laid them down the way I did. So what you do is you wanna twist it around and then you wanna glue it. So I'm gonna go and glue, put some glue under that to hold that down. So now I'm going to twist it and go around. So I'm twisting it and I'm going around in the circle. And then I'm gonna glue it as we go. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way around until I have the size that I want. And these little brooches like this, there's so many different ways that you can do these. Um, it is just whatever you come up with and what kind of design you want. And it's just so much fun to make. Now be careful when you're doing this because the glue, you can get burned with the glue very easily. Some people use um, low temperature glue guns, but I have found that they don't hold as well. Um, like this, the glue releases or whatever and it does not hold very well and I don't want these to come apart because I will be um, making brooches to take to the craft show that I'm in in October um, to sell I just think these are so cute and if you are in my mountain breeze boutique group or if you're not Go over there and check it out because I just made a very exciting announcement over there about the boutique. So you might want to go check that out. I am actually now in business in the boutique um, selling women's clothing and graphic tees for men, women, and children. So go check out the announcement I made over there before I came live here. It's very exciting. All right, so here's what we have so far. So I'm just going around, twisting it and going around and see, you can see the drop cloth and you can see the denim and that's exactly the look I was going for. So I'm just putting a dab of glue right where I'm gonna lay my next little roll. And then I'm just rolling and going around, super easy. I love the way they look with the denim, with the old blue jeans cut. I just think it is such a cute, a cute look. And it's just something different. You don't see people, ow, people wearing these brooches every day. That's why I really um, enjoyed making these. I like having something different, not something that everybody else has, so. I have glue strings everywhere. And that glue is hot, you guys, so be careful. You might wanna wear um, finger protectors. I should probably be doing that, but we're just gonna go with it. And so I'm just going around, and before I get to the very end, I'm gonna leave an opening so that I can glue my tails underneath the circle. And I'll show you once we get to that point. But this is so, so easy to make, you guys. And there's so many different ways. I mean, you can use any kind of fabric. You don't have to use um, old blue jeans. You can use any fabric, any color. It's gonna work the same. And if you make one of these, I would love, love, love to see what you make. I love to see other creations and what other people come up with. I just think these are so neat and so fun to make. I've actually seen some of these 
for sale in other boutiques and I just think they're so neat and different. You don't see them a lot, but they're really cool. All right, so we're getting close to the end. So I'm gonna see about where I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna glue my um, ribbons and tails where I'm gonna stop at. So here's what we have so far. Okay, so I'm gonna glue my ribbons and tails like right here, and then this is gonna go over it so you can't see it. And then we'll trim this up, and then that's it. So as the tails, I am going to use some of, actually, I think I'm gonna use the denim and then some ribbon. I hope I have enough denim. I think I'm gonna cut this in half. I think that's a good length. And I don't really want all of them the same length. Because I think that just makes it makes it a little different. So I'll go back and cut, trim up the lengths once I get them all glued down. So I'm going to put in a couple of the blue. And then some of this amazing ribbon. And right now I'm just laying it down. Um, I'll go back and fix it up here in just a minute. And I think I do want another small piece of this denim. So I'm gonna cut this and see if it'll rip straight. And it didn't, but that's okay. So I'm going to rip it again, or I'm going to attempt to rip it again. So I'm just cutting a little start right there and then just ripping it. I can't get a grip on it. And you guys, if y'all have been following me and you know about my guineas, they are getting so big, so big. Hey, Cindy girl. Thank you. I love these. I think they're so cute. Um, but the guineas are, they're just getting so big. And to, let's see, yesterday I let the um, adults out all day. It's the first day they've been out. Um, that's how you train them to know where they live so they don't run off. So they was out. They were out all day yesterday, and I put boiled egg in there um, in a sandwich bag and every day since I've had them in the evenings, I would go out there and say, snack time, snack time, and rattle the bag. So when I went to put them up, that's what I did, and they all came. I was like, they all came right in their house. I couldn't believe it. All right, so that's not ripping very good, so we're just going to cut it. Yeah, it's it's been a very amazing learning experience with these birds, but it's been so cool because... I had no idea about a lot of these. And the man that I bought them from has been so amazing and helped me with so many questions and it's just been awesome. And if these birds eat these bugs like they say they do, it's gonna be great. And they eat ticks and all that good stuff, so I'm very excited about that. They will have a very good life here if they do all that. Okay, so what I have here is all the tails. And I'm gonna start gluing them. I'm gonna try to do like a piece of denim, a piece of ribbon, a piece of denim, a piece of ribbon. And I'll show you. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm just holding them together and gluing them. Um, denim, ribbon, and denim. And so I'm going to glue this down. Um, hopefully this is going to stay. So I'm going to glue them down up against the rolled part that I have already. Oh, 
and I'm just kind of pushing them up against that roll part as much as I can. And then I'm just going to start gluing one on top of the other just until they get up in there. And then I can trim off anything that I can see that doesn't look right there. This is going to be so cute. I'm putting more of a tail on than I did on the first one I made. I just, I think the tails are what makes it so fun. I am going to use a finger protector on this. All right, now let me show you what I have so far. So I just glued them down up underneath that as far as I could go. <laughs> this is um, the mini Ryobi and this is the bigger one. This one is great because you don't have to, um, this one you have to keep it in the base to keep it hot. This one you don't. Comes with a little base but they had a sale a couple weeks ago on the Ryobis and that I've been wanting one for so long and I was like you know what I'm finally gonna get me a good glue gun <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna twist this and glue it right over top of all that ribbon hopefully this is gonna work out think this is going to work just fine. Let me put some more glue there. And the good thing about the Ryobi item um, glue gun is those batteries work for all their other stuff like drills and stuff like that and they've got tons of um, tools so yeah it's pretty cool. I love Ryobi. All right, so now I'm gonna try and tuck that very end up under there and we'll end it right there. And then we can go back and clean it up, tuck that under. and I may trim some of that off. So here's what we have so far. And there we have all of our cute little tails and you can even go in and um, glue like pearls or beads or whatever on your tails. That would be kind of cute. I'm gonna trim this one up a little bit. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim this off. And then um, put the pearls on and then the pin on the back and then we're done. I mean, it's so easy. I mean, it didn't take any time to make this. It's super, super easy. Just be careful when you're rolling these, that glue is so hot and you definitely don't wanna burn yourself because I did it with you guys. All right, so I'm just trimming off that big circle that we cut to glue it all on. I need to trim this up right here. So there we have it. How sweet is that, you guys? So easy. All right, so now let's put some pearls on there. And then we'll glue the pin on the back and that one's done. And then the next one I'm gonna show you is really, really easy also. It's really super easy. All right, so I'm just gonna place these little pearls around where I think I want them to go. And then I'll go back and glue them down. This is just something different, something that 
you can wear on your jean jacket. This, I, all right, so I know the style is the, the um, distressed look, like this is distressed look, right? That's the style. I have a problem buying a pair of jeans that have holes in them. I don't know if it's just me, but I just can't seem to do that. But I did get this and it has some distressing on it, like on the pocket and stuff, but not much. And I think that's why this goes so well with it because it's kind of distressed looking. So I'm getting better at getting, you know, buying the distressed look. I don't know. I just can't seem to buy a pair of jeans with holes in them. I just, I don't know. So I'm not there yet. <laughs> Maybe now that I'm going to be a boutique owner, I can branch out. If I see that that's what people like, hey, I'll carry it. And I might even wear it. I don't know. All right, so now I'm just going to put a little dot. And I'm trying not to get too much because you don't really want to see the glue. And I'm just going to glue that down. And just keep going with the next one. And I just placed them in random spots where I thought they would look cute. Um, so, yeah. That's what I'm doing with this. I'm just gluing them down in these random spots. I just use a not I don't want the glue to like ooze out so I'm trying not to put too much glue on there but you definitely don't want your little pearls to come off but I like the fact that you can use a pair of old jeans just rip them up. I love the denim look. I think it looks so cute. And so, um, here we go. That's what we have so far. The name of the boutique is Mountain Breeze Boutique. And that is the, um, I have that group, Mountain Breeze Boutique. But it's going to be turned into a page. So if you're not in there, go get in that group and check out the announcement. So it's pretty cool. I'm very excited. Um, and the graphic tees that I'm going to be posting are so cute. All right, so I just have the, the pin. What is this called? The bar pin. And these, I, these just came from Walmart. They were like $2.97 or $1.97 really inexpensive and so I'm going to glue this on the back and that's it we're done with this one um, you're the same way about the jeans. Good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I guess I'm just old school. I don't know. I just can't go buy a pair of jeans with holes in them. I think it's silly. <laughs> okay, so we're done with this one. How sweet is that? And then there's the little bar pin on the back. So this one is completed, you guys. That's it. All right, now let's do another one. This one's super easy. Um, we're going we're gonna to use the canvas duck cloth to glue our, well actually we don't need that to glue the base on. So I'm going to use these fabrics, four different fabrics, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut circles and then I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make a big circle and then a smaller circle. It's going to go start big and then go smaller. And I think I am going to start with the duck because it is thicker and I want to start with that so I think this is a good starting circle so I am going to draw um, 
a circle on here with chalk so it comes off just to get a circle going and then I can start with the other ones and make them a little bit smaller. So I just drew a circle on here with the chalk and I'm going to cut this out. And it doesn't need to be perfect at all. Actually, some of them we're going to kind of like do um, ripples, I guess you could say. These scissors just are not cutting that fabric. But I want to get a good base to start out with. So here we have a circle. Then we're going to cut a piece of this fabric and we're going to make it a little bit smaller. Let me just cut a square out so I can what I think I'm going to try. I don't know if I can do this. We're going to try it. See if it works first and then I'll show you how I did it. I saw someone else do this and it came out really cute so I don't know if I'm doing it right so I just cut like ripples in it and it's not really a circle so that didn't really work out that great so we're, I'm just gonna go back over it and make it smaller and I'm gonna cut like ripples in it to be kind of like a petal Now watch this one be too small. And it doesn't, it does not have to be perfect at all. Okay, so there we have two. All right, now I'm gonna cut a smaller one with, I'm gonna use the blue. <laughs> the same thing I'm just gonna kind of do like waves or little ripples as we go in the circle this one's not really looking like a circle but this one may be too small we'll see yeah, that one's a little bit too small. But we're going to go ahead and cut another one. And then we can make it bigger. Let's do this fabric. So let's try to make this one. And you can make like as many layers as you want on these. It's basically just what you wanna do, how you wanna make it, what size and how full. Okay, now I'm gonna, I took and cut the circle out, so now I'm just gonna kinda make little ripples around but I want to keep try to keep the size as close to what I had as possible just a little bit smaller and the ripples I mean I guess that's what you call it, just kind of like waves. They're kind of going to form like a, sort of like, be like a petal. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So there's what I have on that. So we have this. 
And then we have this, and then we have this. So this is what we have so far, but I'm gonna cut one more out of this color. And then I'll make this one um, smaller for the center. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm going to try to do this with just these. So I'm going to put a piece of glue, a dot of glue, in the center. And then I'm going to lay this down in the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch it. I'm going to put a dot of glue right there and then I'm going to pinch it. So it kind of gives it a, a raised um, look. So I'm just pinching it. And then I'm going to put it in right where that glue is. I'm just pinching it. So it kind of lifts it some. Okay. And then I'm just going to go around a little bit, just like that. And pinch it, just to give it a little bit of a raised look. I'm not sure how this is going to do with this fabric being so thin, but we're going to keep going. Just giving it a little pinch to stick the edges up a little. So now I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I think I need to trim this up a little bit. Whoa. And so I'm going to glue this down the same way. Just going to give it a little pinch. around just give it a pinch I'm kind of pinching it right where the glue is so it stands up some you see how it stands up it makes it look like petals so now I'm gonna do the same thing with this one but I made this one a little bit big. So I'm just trimming it up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Just give it a little pinch. And then I'm going to glue the center one on. And then we're gonna put like a button in the center. So it has that raised look to it. So that's what we have. It looks like petals. All right, so now what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to trim up the duck canvas as the first layer because I'm going to layer another piece behind it so we can glue our tails on there. So I'm going to go through and make these a little bit wavy to make it smaller. And then we're going to glue another piece of duck canvas on and make our tails and then we're done. How easy is that you guys? Super easy, super cute. And I wanna know what you guys think about this. Do you like it? I just think it's something unique. I like stuff that is different. Okay, so here's what we have right now. So now what I'm gonna do is 
make some tails out of this. Um, I'm only going to do a few out of this denim, and they're not going to be quite as long. Let's see if I can tear this. I'm not sure if it will. So we'll use some of the denim and then some of the ribbon. So I'm going to cut some of these strings off. All right, so. Good grief. Lots of strings when you do these, but these are just, I don't know, I could sit and make these all day. They're just fun to make. Come up with different creations. This is still too wide. Okay, there's one. There's one, and then I'm going to try to make this one a little bit smaller. Alright, so I've got three pieces of denim. I'm going to need a piece of duck cloth to go around the back. You can get this duck cloth anywhere. Um, Walmart, Joann's, um, Hobby Lobby. And it's a good fabric because it, it is so thick. It's kind of stiff. And I'll go back around and trim it up once I get the tails or get it glued down and get the tails on. But actually, that might look really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, we need a button. And I picked this button out earlier. This was actually a button. I'm going to see what that looks like in the center. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. So I'm going to glue that down right in the center. Then we're going to glue the tails on. So there's that. That's so cute. So now I'm going to glue the tails on the back. So I think I'm going to use this little, actually that's not going to work right. I'm going to use the same, this, but we're going to do about the same length, maybe a couple short pieces and then a longer piece. These are kind of folded up, but I'm going to do like, like we did the other one, um, a denim piece. And I'm just going to glue that down right on the back. Then I'm going to glue a denim piece. Right on that. And then a ribbon. Right on top of that one. piece of denim and then I'll end it with a piece of the ribbon and then that is it. We'll be done. It's so easy, you guys. So, so easy. And it's so cute. 
These would make great Christmas gifts. Just saying, because Christmas is tomorrow. It will be exactly five months until Christmas, you guys. How crazy is that? Okay, so look at that. That is adorable. Now I'm just going to glue the um, duck canvas piece on the back to cover up everything. So I'm just going to go around, put some glue down, put this down right over top, and then we'll glue the pin on, and then we'll be done, you guys. How cute is this going to be? That is adorable. Now I'll go back and well, I didn't even have to cut that one. It came right off. So now we can glue the pin on and then we'll be done. You guys, that is so cute. That didn't even take an hour to make two of these. So yeah, these are so easy to make. So let me know in the comments what you thought. Um, let me know if you have questions. So, let me go back and trim up the part of the duck canvas that I made for the back so that you can't really see it. Yep, this one is finished. You guys, how cute is that? Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to try it. Um, let me know if you have questions. So, it looks kind of like lifted with the little petals, so, so cute, you guys, so stinking cute. Okay, you guys, that's it for today. Um, that was today's craft. I'm super excited that you got on here with me to do this. It's so fun and so easy. I hope you'll give it a try, make it your own, post it in the group on um, Jill's creative side if you make one, because I would love to see it, share it with others. So, you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. The weekends go by so, so fast. So I'm probably going to go out and check on my birds and see what they're up to. But um, here's the finished product of both brooches that we made. I don't know. Maybe I should trim this one up a little bit. Let's just trim it up and see what it looks like. Okay. So here are the two finished brooches that we made today. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you're going to try it, um, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. So thanks again for um, joining me for this DIY. If you're joining me on YouTube and you like this video, give me a thumbs up to subscribe to my channel, Mountain Made Creations. And if you're watching this on Facebook, give me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And that's all we got for today. So have a great rest of your Sunday. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care and thank you, thank you, thank you for being in my group and participating. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.